considered to be a team. We learn from early years of learning that it takes teamwork of the bees to gather the nectar and provide the making of honey, similar to the word of God being inspired by many making up one book, many writers, one author, that is God. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Proverbs 11.14 Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. The one assurance I have in every dispensation, the word of God has the preeminence by which to know the will of God. All writings of scripture was done by men set apart, being inspired by the Holy Spirit. Proverbs 15.22 Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. When Christ Jesus gave commands that in this dispensation under Christ Jesus, in his spiritual body, opening the door for mankind following Christ, for mankind to have clarity in preaching the gospel of the kingdom and using the laws and prophets to obey Christ Jesus leading. It takes a full and determined need for acquaintance with the word of God. To have by God's working to achieve growth towards the kingdom of righteousness for self and others, made disciples, just that shall enter into Christ Jesus and make disciples. Most important it was to Christ Jesus that we work in ministry same as Christ Jesus does in working with leadership for our rewards. We by those prophets and apostles and disciples started before us. The apostles themselves entered into the labors of the prophets that started with Moses and were by the Holy Spirit inspired to also write scriptures as they were moved by God. Before there could be any genuine acceptance of a professed servant of God, there must be harmony in their doctrine to match the leading by the word of God, starting from the Lord God, ways of truth, the law, and the prophets must be accepted. Having the Godhead's way, we have assurance that if anything is taught that does not agree with the inspired words of the prophets and the apostles, it is not to be supported. Christ Jesus, that the Father sent to be heard and obeyed, is declared to be by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the words of truth. It is only by the words of God that any doctrine of mankind can be determined to be in or out of harmony with that which God's word reveals. If that spoken by mankind does not demonstrate that which Christ Jesus lived and commanded, it must be considered false. John 4.38 I sent you to read that whereon 
ye bestowed no labor. Other men labored, and ye are entered into their labors. Isaiah 8.20 To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Luke 4.4 4. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God.